from Hollywood, it's the Tom Micah Show. Oh, God. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Micah. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Micah Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TALK. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are. Together again on the radio, I saw this story in the calendar section of the Los Angeles Times. And uh, here's a woman who has just gotten around to discovering something I've been telling you for over a decade. And women just don't want to believe it. By the way, I like the, uh, what is this woman's name who wrote this? Samantha Boner? Bonar? One of those. Anyway, from the Los Angeles Times calendar section, this this piece written by Samantha Bonar is called Guy Pals Just Can't Seem to Take the Hint. Here's her little piece. All women have them. They're as ubiquitous as slugs on petunias. You have to know your petunias to know if that's true. They're the pervy guy friends. <laughs> you don't have to put pervy before guy friends. Guy friends just want to get laid. She says these are the insidious guys who use friendship as a Trojan horse to gain access to a woman's bed. Or so they hope. And hope. And hope. They are rarely successful. Their women friends are on to them. And not interested. By the way, I do not believe the women friends are on to them. I believe the women friends are in denial. These men were put into the never going to happen category immediately upon acquaintance. Do you hear that, guy friends? What kind of friendship is that? A woman meets you and decides she has no physical interest in you at all. So you become a guy friend. Who wants to be on that list? Seriously. The piece continues. The guy friend recognizes this disinterest but perseveres. For a long time, years maybe, he cultivates a friendship. At some point, he starts dropping hints about his attraction. It doesn't matter to the guy friend if the object of his lust is married or in a relationship. In fact, the guy friend himself often has a wife or a long-term girlfriend. What does the woman get out of this friendship? He may be entertaining company. He may ask her to award shows or buy her the occasional sandwich. He may show interest in her dreams and concerns. The price she pays is deflecting the come-ons. At some point, she often comes to the conclusion that it's not worth the discomfiture. Beware, women, there is no free custom compilation CD, it says here. There are a few ways of dealing with the delusions of the guy friend. You can shoot down his overtures every time, which leads to a rather confrontational relationship with hostile undertones. You can ignore them and change the subject, or you can start avoiding him. Any way you go, you're playing a constant game of chicken. Whatever you do, you're going to offend him. My friend Eve has a guy friend who tells people they're going out. She laughs it off until his delusions irritate her. Then she mocks him mercilessly. She says, dude, there is no way anyone would believe I would ever go out with you. 
Not even if I got Lindsay Lohan wasted. I had an older married male friend whom I occasionally used to meet for lunch. We had a lot of interests in common, and I enjoyed talking with him. I never got the my wife doesn't understand me speech, but I did get compliments on my attractiveness. Flattering at first, but eventually creepy. Finally, during one lunch, I got him blatantly staring at my chest. He had to say, Oh, what does your pendant say? <laughs> By way of a slave. <laughs> For the record, it said, Curiouser and Curiouser. That was our last lunch. I've got another pal who always tries to bring the conversation around to my sex life with my boyfriend in the guise of, quote, advising me. He is fooling no one. He also went ballistic once when I told him I thought of him as a brother and chastised me for, quote, completely emasculating him. He said, that completely closes the door. Funny, that was precisely my message. My friend Jennifer once was befriended by a professional old enough to be her father. They hung out for a while. When he let her know he was attracted to her, she balked and told him flatly where he stood. He got angry, and their friendship ended. This is the way she describes the situation. He knows you don't want him. He knows. Our problem is that if we don't like a guy, but he seems nice enough or harmless, we have pity on him. Guys, are you listening to this? We have pity on him, and we'll talk to him on occasion, or we'll hang out with him. Pity. Pity. We'll always do something to let them know that we're not interested, but they think if they hang around long enough, maybe, just maybe, we'll let something happen. These suckers seem innocent enough, but they're not. They never are. Never. And they run the same game over and over again. Often there are things about these guys that are genuinely likable, and it's disappointing. That they can't be genuine friends. <laughs> she just came to this conclusion. It often comes down to the icky realization that someone motivated by sexual self-interest is perhaps not truly a friend. You've heard me tell you that repeatedly, up to and including I've compared your vagina to winning the lottery. If you won $70 million in the lottery and everybody wanted to be your friend, would they be your friend? The answer is no. But if people want to be your friend because you have a vagina, they are your friend. I don't get it. it. Says here, the insightful author Anton Chekhov broke it down this way more than a century ago. He said, a woman can become a man's friend only in the following stages. First an acquaintance, next a mistress, and only then a friend. She finally says, guess Victorian women had pervy friends too besides Jack the Ripper. So there you go. Another woman who finally the light bulb just appeared over her head. Guy friends are guys who want to have sex with you. Guy friends are the guys that you don't find attractive. You don't feel you have any chemistry with them. And the reason you call them friends is because, number one, you like male attention. And you'll take it from anywhere you can get it. And number two, in many cases, women feel sorry for these guys. They feel pity for them or they don't know how to let him down easy. So they just go along for the ride and say, OK, we're friends. And guys don't see that the woman is trying to say, I'm not attracted to you. When she says we're friends, she's trying to tell you she's not attracted to you. And you choose not to accept that as a hint. And uh, so I uh, love being the bearer of bad news for both sides. And I love telling you, guess what? Guys, these women are never going to put out, ladies, these guys are not your friends. And they just love to call me and argue with me. But this piece uh, is another example of somebody who actually thought it was possible uh, to befriend a guy. And the reality is you're befriending a guy who is trying to figure out how to get sex from you. It's just that simple. Isn't it? I like it. 1 800 5800. Tom. 1 800 5800 866. If you guys are 
it sick. Is, is this how you make your money? Yes, it is. Oh, that is so funny. You're really working hard, aren't you? Yes. The Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5-800-TOM. Regular story out of the <laughs> LA Times. Kind of an opinion piece or a think piece. Coming to you out of the uh, calendar section of the LA Times. 1-800-5-800-TOM is our telephone number. Joel on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. I just wanted to comment on that article. The, the author wrote that women are always on to the men that are their so-called friends, that they are, that they know that the men just want to have sex with them. And I just want to say that's ridiculous. Every woman that I've known that's had guy friends is, one, totally oblivious to the fact that the guys all they want is to have sex with them. And second, they always look at it like it's a badge of honor, honor like it validates them, because having guy friends means they're cool. Well, yes. Also, I think it means they're getting male attention. Because as I have said over the years, women are attention whores. They'll do anything to get the attention of a male. Exactly. But they're to they think those guys really are their friends, and it makes them look good to their, to their girlfriends that, you know, oh, these guys like me because I, I watch sports with them or, or I hang out and, or whatever, do, do guy stuff. But in reality, all those guys want is just to have sex with them. That's exactly right. <laughs> All right, Tom, can you blow me up? Of course I can. one 800 800 tom is our telephone number. Let's continue our conversation here with Jerry on the Tom Likas Show. Yeah. Yeah. Do oh, you want to talk to Tino? I know. This is Tommy boy, isn't it? Well, don't you know who you're talking to, Jerry? Of course, it's the master. <laughs> Sounds like you don't know who you're talking to. Now, usually you say, hey, this is the Tom Likas show. I just said that. I said, Jerry, you're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Right, and then you asked me if I was Dino. Hey, anyways, Tommy, hey, you are so totally correct on this subject today. Prime example. There's two reasons that a guy has a friend that's a girl. One he wants to sleep with her, or two, he wants to get in with all of her friends. Right. Well, one thing it never is, with few exceptions, is that he wants a female friend. Because as, yeah. I, as I say to everybody, what's the difference between a friend and a lover? Uh, one is you want to sleep with, the other one you want to have activities with. No, one you want to sleep with, the other you ew, don't want to sleep with. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. But prime, That's the prime difference. example, um, I, I had this girlfriend, and it was one of those things where I, I tried the friend thing just to get in the door, right? Because she was totally hot and had, you know, all these friends. Well, once I got in, and her phone would ring, like, incessantly, drove me ape nuts. And after about two weeks of us, you know, getting serious into a relationship, her phone quit ringing, and she was actually pissed off. And I said, you know what? The reason for that is those were not your friends. Those were guys that wanted to sleep with you. And now that you're unavailable, they don't call you anymore. Yeah. And this is something that women just don't understand. Because a woman gets a bunch of friends that she doesn't want to sleep with because, you know what? She's got seven different nights of activities that she can go out with seven different guys. And at the end of the night, whatever, ducks game, dinner, show, movie, you name it, she can do it. At the end of the night, she kisses him on the cheek and says, oh, hey, call me next time you want me to hang out with you. Right. But so, uh, how many of these women uh, just say goodbye, don't ever call me again when they have a husband or a boyfriend later on? True. What kind of friendship is that? Yep. I mean, when, when my real friends get married or have a girlfriend... They don't say, don't call me anymore. Exactly. 
Exactly. In, in and that proves, that proves guy friends are not friends. They're time fillers, time killers. Uh, they are attention providers. They're money bags. They are money bags to go to dinners and concerts and but get drinks and whatever. And they are very convenient to have around until you've got a boyfriend who says, who's this guy Jerry who keeps calling here? Yeah. Yeah, in, in my phone, every girl that's listening in there, I've slept with. <laughs> so, I mean, that's that's how it is, Tom. You know, you got a couple that you hang on to that you really don't have any interest in, but the rest of them, you know what? It's, hey, do or die. Right. Hit it or quit it. Right. So that's all I got to say, Tom. You're the man. And uh, take me out machine gun with a thank you, Jesus. Here you go, Jerry. Thank you, Jesus. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Veronica on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Veronica. I just want to make one comment, Tom. Um, I think a lot of times women have male friends because they can't stand other women. Well, they say that, but uh, again, I, I want to know how many of these friends you'll still be talking to when your new husband or boyfriend, the love of your life, the greatest guy you ever met comes along and he wants to know who these guys are who keep calling and leaving messages for you. Well, that's true. You're going to dump but... all these friends. You're just going to say, don't call me at home anymore. Don't call me anymore. That, that What kind of friendship is that? Well, personally, I dump male and female friends when I have a relationship going. You would, you I mean, would never tell a woman not to call you anymore. I wouldn't tell her. I would just stop calling. and. Stop right, but, but a guy who was calling, you would tell him, stop calling here. Yeah, that part's true. So <laughs> that it's not a friendship. Maybe a friendship of uh, convenience. No, it's not a friendship. It's convenient, yes. <laughs> because you get taken out. You get something to do on the nights you don't have dates with guys you are attracted to. Money is spent on you. Attention is lavished on you. And you don't have to hear all those uh, nagging stories from other women. So, yeah, you're... But then the minute you have a husband or a boyfriend who says, who are these guys who keep calling here? You you drop them like a hot rock. That's true. <laughs> I'm not going to deny any of that. So I, I, I say guy friends are not friends at all. Yeah, guys should wise up. And, and women should wise up, too, because none of those guys want to be your friend. I, I guess it's mutual. Believe me, the, each person is using the other or attempting to use the other. Right. And and That's women right. women who say they have guy friends, they're using and they know the guys want to get it into their pants and they are using it. Yeah, you know, uh in retrospect, yeah, you're right. I've done that. <laughs> right. Yes. Well thank you, Tom. I just wanted to make that comment. Thank you, Veronica. Appreciate the call. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. We're talking about a piece I read in the calendar section of the LA Times called Guy Pals Just Can't Seem to Take the Hint. And uh it talks about guy friends and it says essentially all the things I've been telling you about guy friends. It, except it seems to me the author of this piece is just discovering what you would already know if you've been listening to the Tom Likas show for years and years, like so many others. 1-800-5800-866. Mauricio on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. How are you? Great. Listen, Tom, uh, this is a topic that is so interesting. Uh, I, I had an ex-girlfriend that had three exes hanging around all the time. And uh, this is one of the things I always say about... Uh, you know, in L.A., people, they just wait about six months. <laughs> Even if you have a problem, they just come back. Yes. Same thing. This girl was always talking to them and she was, you know, making me feel like I was a bad guy because, I, you know, I listen to your show all the time. And I, I used to tell her, what are you talking to these guys if there's nothing going on anymore? You know, you, you're with me and uh, you shouldn't be talking to them. Oh, they're my friends, and this and that, and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, at one point, she even wanted to go out with one of them with my permission. So, I mean, this girl was completely insane. So I just want to let you know that you are so right about this. And um, 
you know, any any guy out there that is, you know, has a boy, a, a girlfriend, and uh, you know, boyfriends are hanging around or friends, don't let them. It is all crap. That's right. It's all crap, for God's sake. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Tracy, on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hi, how are you? Great. Good. Well, um, I'm calling to talk about this topic, and I think Well, I'm glad you're calling to talk about this topic, (laughs) because what else would you be doing? I don't know. I'm a little nervous, too. I'm Um, trying to help people eliminate the useless stuff they say when they call in. Like, when I say you're on the Tom Likas Show, someone responds... Am I on the air? Well, I already answered that question for you when I said you're on the Tom Likas show. By definition, that means you're on the air. Same thing here. You called to talk about the topic. Yes. Correct. Of course you did. If you didn't, you wouldn't be talking to me. Correct. Um, I I, I agree with you to to a degree, but I don't I don't completely agree with you. I have I've been with the same guy for since we were 15. We have one child together. We're not married. I'm 35 years old. We have mutual friends that are males. I still hang out with friends that I've had for 20 years. And and I just, I, so in that sense, I don't, I don't agree that all men are trying to get down all girls' pants. I'm telling you, Tracy, that some of them are not good at closing the deal. Some of them are pathetic, sad sacks who will continue limping along, pretending to be your friend because they don't know how to get the deal done. Right. But trust me when I tell you, every one of them would love to have sex with you. Well, my my husband or my fiance agrees with you in in that respect. He thinks that he says the same thing all the time. But but yet he doesn't he doesn't question my relationships with with my male friends. No, because he he trusts you. Correct. But 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 why would you want that kind of situation? Because these guys are not your friends. But these are guys that I've known since I was. A I don't care how, how long you've known them. I don't care how long you've known them. They're not your friends. Okay, so you're supposed to just um, cut those ties, right? I'm saying, well, put it this way. I'm saying, why waste your time to begin with? Because it's it's a it's an acquaintanceship based on a false premise. Right. So As I always use, I always use the analogy about the lottery. If you won the lottery, right, and then suddenly people were calling you on the phone that you haven't heard from in twenty years, they say, right. ha, "Tracy, yeah, what's up? Come on, let's have lunch, Tracy." You you would immediately know something was up, and you right. would say, "Come on, this is not my friend. This is somebody who wants something from me." Yet, when when, when it's not money, when it's a vagina, women just think this is perfectly normal. The guy's going to hang around and hang around with no payoff. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's the um, same thing. But there are payoffs in life, you know, that aren't. That for aren't, you. That isn't just about, that isn't for just you. about a vagina for or you. a penis. For you. Well, you I, get I male I attention, which women can never get enough of, because it's never enough to be uh, to, to have a boyfriend or a husband. Women want attention of every man in the room. Even if they don't do anything with every man in the room, they want the attention of every man in the room. Some women, yes. I think you're one of them. You th- <laughs> That's why you've got so many guy friends. Oh, my goodness. So you get attention. These guys occasionally will take you out to a movie or something that appears to be safe, coffee or maybe a drink when the sun is still out or something like that. Right, right. And you just eat it all up and you say, see, I've got guy friends. But in reality, you've got people who don't know how to close the deal, who keep mooning after you, hoping you'll have an argument with your boyfriend or hoping you'll break down like Sally did. And when Harry met Sally, eventually Sally broke down and had sex with Harry. Did you see that movie? I did not. Yes, eventually she, eventually she, well, that's the movie where the Billy Crystal character, whose name is Harry, says that guys and girls can't be friends. And and uh, she wants to be his friend, and he wants to have sex with her. And years go by, and they're friends, and finally they fall into bed together. In the real world, that rarely happens. Well, yeah. Right? It, it can happen. It, it can happen. But that movie, happen, but very it's... nicely through fiction, right. illustrates the way your guy friends think. Well, it's because men are... 
I mean, that's their, I mean, they, I think they think about sex, whatever. Well, that, but that, Every but that doesn't matter. The point is, you have bought into the idea that they're your friends. I, well, I, I, I'm pretty sure that they're my friends. Well, you I, keep I, I saying mean, that, but I, I, as I said, if it were, if you'd won the lottery and there were seventy million dollars in your bank account and people started uh, being your friend, you would you'd see right through it. Correct. But if it's a vagina, somehow you're in denial about okay, the fact well, that these guys have an ulterior motive. No, I believe that. I mean. I, most of my guy friends are, are probably friends that, that have hit on me at one time or another when we were younger. And they but, would still, if they thought that there was an opening, they'd still be hitting on you. Well, possibly. I mean, I guess. But I, I, I'm, not in that, I'm not in that type of situation anymore to where, I mean, they know where I'm at. They know where I've been for And one you day, know, your years. man, one day, as much as your man trusts you, one day, if these guys call enough, eventually he's going to say, what is it with these guys? Right. You're married. Yeah. Can't you much. just tell them? No, no. He's going to say to you, can't you just tell them to like, come on, you're married. And you will do what he wants. Of course I will. And, but that's my point. What kind of friend would you just say, don't call my house anymore? But but I don't believe that he would. I mean, he's not going to do that. He wouldn't we do that. Don't, he doesn't do we that. Do, well, he hasn't done it yet. But you're not married yet. Right. One day, most guys do say that. All right, Tom. And then when he does, you'll do it. <laughs> and the fact that you just admitted you would do it doesn't matter if he ever asks you to do it or well, not. I mean, uh, these the friends, is, these friends are disposable. Well, no. Yes. All friends are. Wait a yes. Minute, Tom. All yes. Friends are, all friends are disposable when it comes to family. Bottom line. No, they're not. Yes, they are. No, they're I mean, not. They're absolutely. So you would dispose your best friend, your best female friend? If if the. If my husband came up, if, if my husband had an issue with, I mean, it wouldn't be something that just happened like, no, you're you, no longer you'd, you'd go to underground, you'd talk to her when he's not around, you'd send her an email, you'd call her when he's not around, you'd just send her an instant message, you'd send her a text message, and you, she wouldn't be coming over to any family barbecues. It would be a mutual decision if something like that was to be made. It wouldn't be, Tracy, you're no longer to talk to this person because that wouldn't it wouldn't go down like that. But at all. The, the point is, you would never agree to give up a same, you know, same gender friend. You would fight for that person. I would fight for that person. That's my point. But you wouldn't fight for your guy friends. I would fight for my guy friends as well. Oh, so if he told you, "I don't want these guys calling the house anymore," you'd fight okay, for. Okay, I'm going to give you an example. We have a mutual friend that we've known since we were 15, um, and he. Was gonna he was gonna come over and do laundry one day, and Tom told me absolutely not. He's not allowed in the house when I'm not here. He like totally pulled the man card on me and got just primal on me. And I said, "You're you you've lost your mind. You've absolutely lost your mind. This is somebody we've known since we were 15 years old. How which doesn't mean he wouldn't and, which doesn't mean he wouldn't hit on you. Well, I understand that, but he has to trust me, and that's the bottom line. He has to trust me. If he can't trust me, then we've got nothing. It's not even a matter of whether he trusts you. What message are you sending when a guy is told, come over to my house when my husband's not around and do your laundry? What's that message? Yeah, you may think it's well, completely his innocent. His was broken. He lives right down the street. We've known him for 20 years. Again. I'm not going to tell my friend he can't use my washer. I'm telling you that... <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you that the vast majority of those guy friends would go by the wayside if you wanted them to go by the wayside. If he told you, I'm not, I'm not going to marry you. I don't want to live with you anymore. I'm just getting the hell out of here. If he it, did that, then we, then we, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, you would dump I, these I guys. I don't know. I, I must have it pretty darn good though, because it it doesn't seem to go down that way. So, well, I mean, not yet. Tom Likas, 1-800-5800-TOM. I can't believe that men are so concentrated on women's appearance. I mean, come on. Are you just finding this out now? No, but to hear it on your show is, like, appalling. The Tom Likas Show. From Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show on 1-800-5800-TOM. Talking about a think piece we read in the... Uh, calendar section of the Los Angeles Times, a woman who's finally figured out that guy friends are really not your friends at all. It's icky. <laughs> Manny on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they told me they were going to put me on with Tom. 
Oh, is that what they said? All right, hold on, please. It's the Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. Manny. Hello. Yes. Yeah, Tom, what's going on? Not much. All right, so they fill you in with my story? They did, and it was fascinating, so thank you very much for calling. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Yeah, they told me all about it. It was a good call told me all about the guy friend thing and everything it, it was compelling I mean then why do I need to talk to him Dean already filled me in when you call in if you've told it to Dean don't tell me you've told it to Dean and then ask me if Dean told me if Dean told me and I admit to knowing what you're calling about why do I need to talk to you I mean think about this if I already know your story why do you need to tell it to me So we move on here. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's the telephone number. Anthony is listening to us online from Chicago on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Oh, how's it going, Tom? Great. Uh, yeah, I'll just make a comment on guy friends. Go ahead. I know, uh, me and a few of my, a group of my friends, a bunch of guys and girls, some of them with boyfriends, some of them not, without, usually hang out on Friday. One of my buddies had interest in one of the girls in the group, and she's been hanging out with us for like a few months. The moment he gave like an interest, he actually, because um, he still is interested in her. In fact, a couple of other guys were. But when he actually made a move, like actually told her that he was interested in her, she got angry. Then she got upset. Next day, she went over to her boyfriend complaining, like, oh, this guy likes me, this and that. And then next thing you know, we never saw her again. Wow. There you go. That's the way it is. That's the way it is. 1-800-5800-TOM. Danny on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Dad. How's it going? Doing great, son. Happy late Father's Day, Dad. Same to you, son. <laughs> Well, I love this topic. Hits home. Uh, the great thing about this topic is uh, the the friend factor. I have two friends, right? Quote unquote friends. But the funny thing is, I don't even see them. I don't go out with them. I, I told them way ahead of time. The only time I could see you or go out with you is either a because they got boyfriends. A when your boyfriend's out of town, or when you guys get into a fight, or when you don't want to see your boyfriend. That's when you call me. That's when we go out. And it's only at night, and it's only for drinks, and whatever happens, happens. And that's it. And they only call me, like, once in a full moon. So it's like they already know what they're calling me for. Probably when they've had a fight with the boyfriend or he's out of town or something like that. Yeah. that's Those are my friends. <laughs> those are friends. <laughs> that's what I call a friend, a girlfriend. Because if I want to go to the movies or have dinner, I'll just go with a guy friend. Or by myself. Right. I, yeah, I, went to the, I went to the movies myself the other day. It was fantastic. Of course. You don't have to pay to, to hang out with a girl. That's dumb. That's right. All right, Dad. Take me out, Kobe, Daddy. There you go, son. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, there I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Tony on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. Yeah. How you doing, man? Great. Listen, um, I'm hearing about your show about the guy friends. Yes. Well, I have, I have a real good story for you. I've been married for almost 17 years now, and my wife, she... She's been giving me the cold shoulder for the last four months now, and really, really bad for the last for the last three months, the last two, I would say. And it turns out she gives me, she finally tells me that there's this one person. It's a that's it's somebody who she's been talking to. She has not only been talking to him; she wants to be 
involved with him. She has feelings for this guy, and she wants me to be okay with that. <laughs> what do you say about that? <laughs> Here's what I say. I say, thanks for cheating on me, because now that we've been married so many years, not only do you get to cheat on me, but I get to pay you alimony <laughs> yeah. forever. Yeah. yeah. So what, I mean, is, is, I, you're going to tell me this is over, right? You need to ask me a question like that? I am I am so screwed up right now, Tom. I am so screwed up in my head I, because the fact that I've been with this woman for so long, you know. That's part of the reason you've got this problem. That's part of the reason, right? Yeah, because you got with her too young. Yeah, so I should just go ahead with the divorce and and just hope with, she right? marries him so that you don't have to pay her alimony. That's true. If I were you, I'd be encouraging her to marry him. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Well, you know, I've been I've been listening to you for a long time. Tell her you're so okay with. By the way, tell her you're so okay with it. You will pay for their honeymoon. Really? (laughs) It's a lot cheaper than alimony. Yeah. Yes. Uh, That's that's a good one. Thank you for that one. (laughs) I just encourage her to marry him. Yeah. So it won't cost you anything. Yeah, she's I, I I. Okay, listen to this one, okay? Now, you see what sense you make of this. Her sister, her younger sister, your husband. Watch your mouth. We're on the air. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. Her sister did the same thing to her husband. She asked him the same the same question, that that she wanted to be able to go out and do her thing and for him to be okay with it. He told her, you know what? That is not my gig. I did not sign up for that with you. You're out. We're done. So oh. she got the divorce completely unexpected. And my wife is following the same steps that her sister. That's what frequently happens. Really? Yes. So I, I, must, have, I must have been living in a, in a cage or something, in a cave or something. Trust me. Wow. This happens a lot. Really? Yeah. Wow. Well, listen, Tom. Hello? I'm right here. I, like I was telling you earlier, I've been a long-time listener, and I've been trying to get in touch with you for the last month, I swear. And I, I'm glad that I finally got through, and and you're right on everything, man. I mean, I, I, I don't think I even need to tell you that. You know that. You're so right on it, and I wish I had bigger a uh, bigger set of kahunas to to stand up and just, you know, take action. Well, if but, you don't, she's going to step all over you. Yes, you're right. And and that's what I need to do. Yes, you do. Thank you, my friend. Take me out whatever way you 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 feel is right for this one. Well, I always go old school. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. It's Stephen on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Oh, Tom, that guy's speech really hit me right there. That was good. Um, all right, so I wanted to call and tell you my story, uh, even though you already know it. See what you think. Um, I, I've lived a lot of places. I've made a lot of friends, and a lot of them happen to be female friends. And I just have not slept with any of. The, the friends that I've made that are female, I don't sleep with them, but my girlfriend, she just doesn't like the fact. She doesn't understand why I have female friends. I don't know. She's a very jealous type, and I try to get it through her head that, you know, these girls are like my, you know, your listeners are like the sons you never had. These girls are kind of like the sisters I never had, right? Yeah. And... I don't know. I just uh Well, first of all, at twenty three, I don't I don't know why you need a girlfriend. I know, right? Strike one. Yeah. But <laughs> I don't know. Uh it, when I have female friends I can just you know, I can talk to them about my girlfriend and my female Why can't you talk to your guy like friends that. about that stuff? I, yeah, that's true, but I at least I can get the female perspective on things too, and that kinda helps things Who up. cares about the female perspective? I don't know. It, it it can be helpful. You never know. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> um, I, I don't know, but the one thing I don't like is that I've been friends with these girls for a long time, and whenever they get boyfriends, some you know new. Ass- you ah! <laughs> say it's happening to you too.
The Tom Likas Show.